to the RDV Sportsplex in Maitland, Florida for local pro wrestling. Tonight, blood runs cold. I'm Antonio Belmonte, and tonight I'm alongside the executive consultant, Chris Harris. Chris, are you ready for tonight? I'm ready for some action. I'm ready to get into it. A lot of stuff is going out tonight, and we're going to be right here to call it. Good to work with you here, man. This is a big, big fella. My gosh. You talk about big. This man has a PhD in violence. I've never even heard that before. What kind of school did he go to? Wherever it is, he's going to dish out some punishment against his opponent tonight. You know where he's from? He is actually, he's from the year 2082. So they sell time machines at that uh, particular year. Good, okay. Looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to this match. I'm glad he's away from us. He looks pretty dangerous. I might add a high behind you. Whew. I don't know if that's going to do any good because <laughs> Dr. Dax oh, intimidating our referee. make up for any difference you see here tonight. It's a really good opening match here. I'm looking forward to it. It's a classic David versus Goliath match. Bells ring and we are now underway. You see the look on Arzio's face. He has no, no emotion when it comes to fear. No, no, no. I mean, he's, he's laughing and no fear. Oh, ho, ho. wow. Wait, wait, it starts slapping this with that clothesline going off the ropes. Takes the big man. No, he stole his feet, but to the corner. Here comes Azrael. Oh, a hit. Climbing now to the top rope. High rent district. Oh, no go there. Azrael's not giving up. Whoa, see. Ezreal definitely has a speed advantage, taking the big man down. One knee here, can he get him all the way down? Can you utilize every bit of that speed? He get him down. Good job going for the cover. One, two. Oh, oh threw him clear into the atmosphere on that kick out. <laughs> we'll talk about authority. We saw a lot of it there. There's a right hand. Trying to keep him down, was caught. Oh! Did he, but was he biting his head? He bit his head. That's a part <laughs> oh. of his diet. That's how he stays in such great shape. I don't know if Israel's ever been that high. Oh! Unceremoniously. And that had to hurt. Cover. Oh. I mean, Lady just cover. I mean, placing the weight of his body on Azrael's chest could not be good. Jeez. These fans are trying to get behind Azrael here. They are strongly behind Azrael. Oh, he's back down. 
The position of Phyllis is firmly in control here. And now he's having his way. Oh, you could you could break a man's sternum. I mean, oh. I felt that pain up here. That was what we call a receipt from earlier. Adding insult to injury there with a slap across the face. Oh! And that sound told a better story than we ever did. <laughs> and another one. And he is in pain. Sounds like a Florida thunderstorm coming through. Ooh! And here he comes with some slaps to the chest of his own. Here he comes, he's coming back. Oh. One shot changes the direction of this match. Sent straight to the turnbuckle. Gorilla Press here, showing off that strength. Where is he going to toss him to? Astro is able to get out of it. Climbs with his back, has him in a sleeper to the ropes. He's running the ropes. Oh! Just trying to knock Azriel off and was managed, managed to do that in the corner. Not good. Here comes the press. One, two. And he lets him up. He lets him up. He's just toying with Azriel at this point. I mean, show him some mercy and just finish the match. I mean, that's the point is the one, two, three and picking him up. He's just trying to inflict as much damage on Azrael as he can right now. This is not good. This is not good. And the referee might want to start thinking about ending this match. Not sure how much Azrael has left in him. And he's picked up in a bear hug and he's making it look easy. I mean, he can't have... Oh, got some fight left. I mean, I, I almost had to eat my own words. Oh, caught. He was trying to make a comeback. Back into the bear hug. An extra leverage here right now. You got to start thinking about, oh! Again. He broke it. Goes, Goes under. There's a drop here. Misses with another clothesline. Back elbow miss. And a front drop kick this time. In a position of violence, might be in trouble here. Here he comes. Two boots straight to the face. What speed and, and precision by Azrael. But once again, one hit back. Oh, he, he's calling for it. Oh. oh, into a stutter. Going for the cover. One, two. He got him. I don't know if I've seen anything like this before. That was amazing. Asriel pulled off the win seemingly out of nowhere. What a victory. What heart. What determination by Asriel. Chris, is this, a, is this a great way to open our show this evening or if, what? If this is just a sign of things to come, ladies and gentlemen, you have a great night ahead of you. Azriel, you deserve every, uh, all this adulation. You deserve it this evening. One heck of a, heck of a show. Hard fought victory. Now, it, it does not go without pain because Azriel is favoring that back. Oh yeah, he's gonna feel that in the morning. Might want to go ice himself down. Quick shout out to one of our sponsors here this evening, Taps and Caps Lounge. You can check them out at www.tapsandcapslounge.com. I've been there before. It's a good place to go on a Friday night after local pro wrestling. What a great match. Who was that? Dr. Dax cannot believe what just happened. He's trying to antagonize the crowd here as the crowd is bothering him. 
I'll be careful. That is a dangerous man. Well, notice nobody is getting up. I mean, smart, smart people we have in the crowd, I'm assuming. And they are booing this man back to the year of 2082. <laughs> Actually got a trip booked there.